Hi all, in this video, let's learn how to hide our source code for our web applications using JavaScript. Firstly, why to hide our source code? So if you observe in the banking applications, they will not allow you to right click on their pages. This is because they wanted to hide their source code for sensitive information and also for the network calls. So they will try to hide the source code. So what does it mean hiding the source code? So in suppose this is an application of the banking. So if you right click and if you go to the inspect element, so what happens, you can see the source code. So if I click that, you can see the source code in the developer tool. Okay, apart from this mouse click, so you can also open this developer tools with the keyboard shortcuts like a F12 or a command shift I. So these are the different ways to open the dev developer tools. If this was open, what happens? They can see any of the code which is related to our uh, security or uh, sensitive information in the source code, okay? So we need to hide firstly the right click. It means this right click is known as a context menu. We need to hide it so that they can't open the developer tool. Secondly, we need to disable the keyboard, sh keyboard shortcuts to open the developer tools so that they can't open the developer tool, they can't see the source code. But one thing to remember all the time, the source code, like the application will be loaded and downloaded in the client browser. So it is to be maintained that all the code will be with the client. So even after disabling this source code uh, with the right click and uh, the shortcuts of keyboard, there's high chances that they can see the code. So in order to do, like in order to still hide the source code, we can do two methods. Like we you, we need to do the minification and obfuscation of our source code. That I have clearly explained in this video. I will put this at the end cards. Please refer this as well. So once the first step is like hiding the source code, okay? Uh, like uh, the developer tools. So even after in some or the other way, if they could able to see our source code, they could not able to understand the source code uh, directly we need we are trying to encrypt that we're not putting the source code like a plain text we're trying to minify that and obfuscate that so that they can't understand it in a single go okay this is the second one uh let's let's discuss like let's put this with the code uh how to disable let me show you how to disable the context menu so in the index.html page i'm adding a script tag and i'm doing the document dot add event listener and I told that the right click is known as a context menu. So to the context menu, I'm saying that this is an event and to this event, I'm saying prevent the default. So what is the default? I'm trying to prevent it. Okay, this is a prevent default. Yep, we're good now. So now with this piece of code, we can't able to right click on the page. This is the first one. So coming to the second one, how to disable the keyboard shortcuts. For the developer tools so document dot add event listener and uh, i will add the keyboard down event so after adding this keyboard down event we need to understand like which key is pressed okay for that i'm trying to do like if if the event is like control key so because uh, control is a key which helps us to open like control shift I. Okay, so that's the reason I'm picking the control. So if someone clicks the control, that should not be worked. So I'm not, I'm just returning. I'm preventing the default if someone clicks the control. And uh, the key key code, even dot key code should not be equal to one, two, three. What is this one, two, three? This is the key code for F12, okay? So F12 is a shortcut key to the open the developer tool. And another shortcut key is the control shift and I. So I'm trying to disable these two keys. Okay. Like uh, even dot stop propagation. First we need to stop the propagation so that even bubbling shouldn't happen first. So later I will try to do this prevent default. That's it. So we, are, we have done with disabling the context menu, right click and we are done with this. Okay. Let me show now the application. See, I'm not able to right click. Okay. It is considering that as a zoom. I'm not able to right click and I'm trying to click the F12 developer tool. It is not opening. So this is the best way to hide our source code from the developer tool. And keep in mind, this should be done in the development, like uh, in the production environment, not in the developer environment. Because in the developer environment, most of the time we need to debug the code, understand the code and uh, 
styling on live styling those things so this should go in the production mode not in the development mode so hope you understand the video thanks for watching and i will also put this importance of this minification of obfuscation so this is a second level of hiding our code okay it's not uh, it it's very important to understand for the front end development folks thanks yeah thanks for watching please subscribe for more